Hey, welcome back to Buff TV. It's the last week of spooky season. I hope you can get your spook on for Halloween. I'm Blake and my co-host is here. Did I hear you excited for Halloween? Heck yeah, I'm excited for Halloween. I'm ready to be a spook. You want to know something else, Blake? What is it, Joe, here? They called yourself last week during first and second lunch last Thursday. Yes, they did. Like CSU, Samson University, USV, GDU, UTI, local electrical and carpenters union, military, and others. No matter what grade you, you were in, you were able to talk to colleges that showed up and even careers. Here's what the chaos of that looked like. So, uh, can I ask uh, what, what, your, uh, what your college name is and uh, what you guys do? So we are the University of Silicon Valley. We are formerly known as Codswell. Uh, we have different uh, uh, majors in the gaming industry. So we have game design engineering, where we have uh, digital media management. We have game writing. We have entertainment design. We have 3D animation. Um, we have technical art. We also have 3D modeling. We also do audio and uh, music uh, technology, so all the sound effects and music that you see in movies and video games. Uh, and then we have also a computer science and business administration major. Mm -hmm. We're located right in the Silicon Valley in San Jose. Um, and we are a small private college, and students can get in and out in under three years with their bachelors. Okay. It was, from, it was a senior project from one of our students. Um, he got recognized from this senior project for making an intern in festivals, and he actually ended up doing the water for the movie Moana. Ah. Yeah. So. <laughs> So our, our students definitely uh, are very creative, and you know if you're on that technical side, we also even have an esports team where they compete collegially against other colleges. Okay. Uh, so what's your uh, college name, and uh, what do you guys like teach? So we're from the Institute of Technology in Modesto. We have medical programs, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, pneumology, um, and culinary at our school. Okay. Yeah. Um, programs are about nine months, so pretty quick courses. Um, so we're with Give Every Child a Chance. Um, we're both program directors in the office. My name is Kirsten, and this is Shayla. Shayla. Um, she runs the Before High School program, so you guys actually have a program here on campus. Um, that you can come in early in the morning and hang out um, in the classroom. They have a couch, they have a little kitchen set up, um, there's going to be like video games, some um, ping pong tables, ping pong yeah. table, putt putt golf, all that stuff we're going to have. Room 21, but we're calling it Space 21. Yeah. Right? All right. Yeah, and we have after school programs, we do volunteering. Um, if students want to volunteer with us, they're more than welcome to apply. And then we place them to either do tutoring, um, work at one of the after school programs, and things like that. So many colleges come to that, so is that all that happened last week? No, we also had the Hall of Fame last week. Here's what that looked like. From the class of 1986, Dan Evanson. <laughs> Accepting on his behalf this evening is his wife, Michelle, and daughter, Julianne. <laughs> From the class of 1988, Marianne Faringer Tober. <laughs> Retired faculty member and longtime coach Mike Henry. Accepting on his behalf this evening is stepson Mark Condit. Retired faculty member and longtime coach Jack Miller. From the class of 1987 and the winningest head coach in Manteca football history, Eric Reese. Let's go, Coach Reese! From the class of 1979, Karen Steves Ott. <laughs> Due to COVID, these inductees were originally honored at a private event and with a wonderful video of speeches, which can be found on YouTube. We are thankful they could all be here this evening to be honored in person. Thank you all for your wonderful community contributions and the differences you have all made.
Juicy. Well, that's cool. Well, this week is Red, is Red Ribbon Week. It's a blood drive that happened this Wednesday. Red Ribbon Week was, is fun. We have Monday, which was Safari Day with a scavenger hunt at lunch. For Tuesdays, it was, it was a f book character day with trivia at lunch. Wednesday was superhero slash villain day with the tug of war at lunch and the blood drive after school. Thursday was Halloween cause day and people were decorating pumpkins at lunch. And fin uh, finally on Friday was school spirit with a photo booth at lunch. And that's a lot for Red Ribbon Week. Yes it is, but it's for a good cause. A lot of people came out for the blood drive to help give blood to the Red Cross. Thank you all for the people that helped come out and donate blood for this great cause. I think that's all we had to cover. Yes it is, I'm Blake. And I'm Joe here. And we are signing off. I hope you have a great day and a safe Halloween. Go, Go Buffaloes. Buffaloes.